All right, let's get straight to the point. With the most recent patch of Pal World, they finally fixed one of our favorite pals, Dig Toys. So, I decided it was finally time to set out and create the most powerful Dig Toys, turning him into a living blender. And for that, I caught the Alpha Anubis, along with the legendary Necromus, bred them together, and then worked my way all the way down the family tree until I got the perfect Dig Toys. My initial goal was to get our Dig Toys to have these four traits. That way you could have a 70% attack boost, along with an additional 20% damage boost to all of his Earth type attacks. Only it turned out there was one problem. As I was hatching these hundreds of failures, I realized that Dig Toys will always have the trait Hard Skin. And from what I could tell, there's no real way to get around this. So I just decided to switch out the trait Ferocious with Hard Skin and call it good. We'll lose out on 20% of our initial planned damage increase, but hey, could be worse. And after hundreds of eggs, I finally hatched my first one. Wait a minute! So actually, as it turns out, they patched the trait thing while I was in the process of me recording this, so I guess lucky me. Now, I could have just stopped right there but my last video got several comments asking me to get perfect IVs and whatever I do next. And wow, I really didn't want to do that this time. So to find a middle ground, I spent some extra time and hatched several of these perfect dig toys, and I'll just pick whichever one has the highest base attack power. If you really want to make me suffer, get a comment asking for IVs to 50 likes or something, and I'll do it, all right? Until then though, this is the best dig toys from all the ones I hatched, and let's start off by naming him. So I know Dig Toys is more of a miner than he is a digger, but with that shining drill on his back, I don't think I can name him anything but Simone the Digger, which is a reference that I hope that some of you guys will understand. Then let's take Simone here and sacrifice the failures that are his brothers and sisters to the Pal Condenser, putting his level 1 attack at 219. Pretty decent, but we can do better. So let's come over to the Statue of Power and use our Pal Souls to max out his health, attack, and defense respectively. Now, since Simon is a ground type pal, while I was waiting for all the breeding to finish, I took the liberty of catching a couple dummits. That way I can use their passive skill to increase our attack power even further. And by a couple, I caught roughly about 468 dummits. That way I can condense them into the perfect team. And last but not least, I need some food to get that final little bit of attack damage boost. Thankfully, I still have some leftover Ikthodir Lokomoko from the last time I did this. Anyways, let's eat one and see where that puts our level 1 Simone. 500, which is pretty good for a level 1 pal. Now last time I did this, I got too excited and rushed over to fight Zoe and Grisbolt while Zack was still level 1. The problem with this, apparently, is that level difference between pals is taken into account when calculating damage. Simply put, pals under level 10 will do less damage to Zoe and Grisbolt than normal. So before we go and take them on, I'll level him up a bit so he's ready for the fight. All right, Simon is level 15 at 1,055 attack power, and he finally learned his most important skill, Shell Spin. So with that, I think we're ready. Let's do this. Let's see what you got, Simon. They're an electric type, so we should handle them pretty handedly. Though, uh, you gotta actually fight back, buddy. I wonder if his partner skill will do anything. No, but he's certainly spinning. Ooh, there he goes. Now that's that's some good damage. Damn, and he took that laser like a champ. I think he's got this one in the bag. Especially if he keeps hitting him with that spin cycle. Shoot, Stone Blast does a lot too. It's just a really bad matchup for the boss, honestly. Simone is perfect for this. Well, I'll just let them fight the rest of this one out. Yeah, he soloed that no problem. And only at level 15. Well, I guess on to the next boss. All right. Simone is now level 22 with 1,322 attack, which is high enough on paper, but I fear that since Lylene is a grass type pal, 
this may not go well, but there's only really one way to find out. So let's just get in there and do it. Ooh, yeah, he's not doing nearly as much damage now. It's looking tough. I think Simon is out of his element with this one, literally. Yeah, barely over 20 seconds in, and he's already at almost half health. It's gonna be an uphill battle for him this time, but I guess let's just see what happens. Dude, her attacks shred Simone. They do so much damage. You gotta pull through, Simone. We need to see you grit those teeth. He's fighting for his life out here. Yeah, I'd say that was a failure. But hey, can't say we didn't see that one coming. I think for now, let's move on to the next boss, and then we'll come back to Lilene at level 50 and see what changes. All right, originally I was gonna do this thing where I only level up a little bit for each boss, but you know what? That's not what you guys came here to see. No, you came here to see the strongest to dig toys in Power World. So that's what you're gonna get. Simone is now level 50 with an attack stat of 2,432. And we're gonna run back the bosses, starting with Zoe and Grisbolt, and see just how strong he really is. Wait, you know what? For this boss, let's have his only skill be Shell Spin, like the true blender he's meant to be. All right, Simone, it's your time to sign. Let's see how strong you've gotten. Ah, yeah, that's a lot more like it. That's like 60% of his health in one go. One more of those and it's over. Yeah, wow, okay. That's the blunder I was looking for. Well, I guess on to the next one. All right, Simone, round two. You're a completely different pal now. It's time to redeem yourself. You've got them this time for sure. All right, all right. That's some decent damage now. That's what we need to see for him to win here. Okay, yeah. He's taking much less damage from these attacks now, too. I guess that 35 or so levels will do that for you. Though, it's not over until it's over, so hopefully Simon can keep this up. Come on, Simone, you got this. Keep up the pressure. It's so back and forth right now. I think it's gonna be close. All right, enough talk for this one. Let's just see how it turns out. You did it, Simone. You redeemed yourself. You... Whoa, okay. Hey, buddy. A bit excited, are we? Well, I guess to the next boss. All right, buddy. They're a bit stronger than Zoe and Grisbolt, but he's still an electric type. This should be an easy win for you. Dude, the fight aside for a second. Orzerk has got to be one of the coolest pals in the game. Like... All of his moves look awesome. He's just crazy all around. Though, he pales in comparison to Simo the Digger, our world's strongest blender. I mean, honestly, I know ground is good against electric and all, but I expected Axel and Orzark to be doing a lot more than they are. I guess Simo is just that strong at this point. Shoot, that sand tornado is putting in some work, but Simon really just needs to spin to win here. One spin cycle is almost like 7,000 damage on its own. Well, let's just let him handle it. 
I can't see this lasting more than like 30 more seconds anyways. That was easy. So he's beaten the first three bosses totally solo with almost no problems at all. I guess on to the next. Come on, Simon. You've made it this far. Show this stupid bird what you've got. Oh, is his spin move not going to work as well because Phalaris is flying? That's not good. That could be the reason he loses here. Plus, it already kind of seems like they're doing quite a bit of damage to Simone here. And they still have so much health left. Yeah, it's looking tough here. This may be the end. That won't stop Simone from going down fighting, though. Man, if they weren't in the air, this could be going so different right now. But I guess there's no point in complaining. It is what it is. All we can do is watch Simo until the end. And thus, that marks the end of Simon the Digger. Or does it?